walking to the temple when the chief priests the scribes and the elders came to him then he began to speak to them in parables once a man planted a vineyard put a fence around it dug a pit for the wine press and built a watch tower share of the produce the vineyard owner leave with a contented heart a few months later it was time for the harvest it is harvest time i hope the farmers have profited from the land and its produce come here this must go to my vineyard the farmers will offer you a share of their produce bring them to me The servant leaves to meet the tenants and collect his master's share, but things did not go smooth. The tenants who once promised to give him a share have now turned greedy. The servant arrives at the vineyard. The former tenants are found enjoying the harvest and its profit. My master has sent me to collect his share of the produce. We have toiled for many days in the sun. Get away from here. This is our land and our produce. The owner has no share in it. and state the reason for his visit the farmers beat him on his head and insulted him get away from here this is our land and our produce the owner has no share in on hearing this the owner was very upset i shall send the strongest of my servants come here go to my country and collect my share of the produce yes master this time the wicked tenants brutally hit the poor slave and killed him and so it was with others some they beat some insulted and others killed this can't be done i have to put an end to this perhaps Let me send my only son they will respect him The vineyard owner sends his only son his last choice to the wicked tenants but the tenants on seeing the owner's son from a distance decided to kill him to inherit the property Look it is the owner's rightful son if we kill him the property will be ours as according to the law The inheritance will pass on if he does not have here. Then what are you waiting for? This is a son. Come, let's kill him. The property will be ours. So they seized him, killed him, and. 
and threw him out of the vineyard. He will bring those wretches to a wretched end and he will rent the vineyard to other tenants who will give him a share of the crop at the harvest. Dear friends, just like this parable, we are the tenants in the land of the only rightful owner, God the Heavenly Father. Just as the owner of the land sends his servants to the farmers to collect his rightful share, God has spoken to us through the ages through prophets, hoping that we sinners might repent and turn to the Lord, submitting ourselves to Him. Did we give heed to God's call? Did we repent for what we have done? Were we true to ourselves and our neighbors? Were we are ready to accept the rightful call? Many a times we become the wicked tenants. Like the Parsis and the chief priests, we often look for a way to escape from our sins rather than repenting and getting closer to God. It is because of this sinful attitude, God finally sent His only Son to cleanse this world from the clutches of evil and sin. To pay His ransom by listening to the word, following the Lord's path, and thereby becoming good fruits of the Lord.